everybody. Come on into the classroom. It's so nice to see you. Hello to Roland and Sonari from Texas. Hello to baby Zarin and Talia and Hansa in Egypt. Welcome. Really nice to see you today. I've been hanging out here in the classroom with this special fan with ribbons. Look at this. A fan has blades inside of it that go around and around and around and around and around really fast. And it makes the air blow like wind. With these ribbons, that will help us see the wind. When I turn it on, maybe the ribbons will blow in the wind. Should we try it? Yeah? Okay. I'll count to three. We'll turn it on and see if the ribbons will blow in the wind. Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, look at that. The ribbons are blowing in the wind. You can really see see the wind when there's something blowing in it. It's so beautiful. Wow. Oh, and suddenly the wind is gone. And the ribbons aren't blowing anymore. Should we bring the wind back? Here we go. Ooh. It's windy. Look at them go. And stop. Oh, the wind's gone. Now it's windy again. Woo! Come on, little ribbon. Wow. Not windy. Windy. Not windy. Windy. You're right, Colson, this blue one doesn't want to go. Ooh. <laughs> Not windy. That's fun. Those ribbons are so beautiful blowing in the wind. Let's wave a big hello to all of our friends watching today. Thanks for being here. I see Ellie in Colorado. Hello. Sierra, Henry, Moira, and baby Gideon are back with us. Molly and Lizzie from Indiana. Hello. Kira Rose in New York. And our friend Rona. Hi, everybody. Let's wave our hands. We'll sing a big hello to all of our friends. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Can you shout your name out nice and loud? Let's hear it. Nice to meet you. All right, let's say hello to some friends here. Hello, hello. Hello to Sloan and Holden. Hello, hello. Hello to Nora. My name is Katie. What's your name? I see. Michael and Alice from Kentucky and Sunshine in Oregon. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Penelope's here from Virginia. Hi, Penelope. Hello to Ronan in Missouri. Logan in Pasadena. So many friends. Moon and King from California. Hi, everybody. It's so great to see you. Oh, I have something else that I wanted to show you. Come here. Come take a look. We'll put the fan back here for a moment. I want to show you our special wind tunnel. Ooh. When I turn the wind tunnel on, it makes wind just like the fan, but inside the tunnel. Isn't that neat? So we can put some different things inside of the wind tunnel and see what happens. I got all sorts of different things here. Let me know what you'd like to see in the wind tunnel. We've got some pom-poms, some marbles. Those are really hard and heavy. These are foam shapes. These are little styrofoam balls. They feel really neat. Look at this, these are shiny and 
colorful leaves made out of some fabric. We've got some confetti. These are just paper cut into little squares. That'll probably be really neat. We got some ribbons. Wonder what the ribbons will look like. And this is just an ordinary ping pong ball. I wonder what'll happen with a ping pong ball in our wind tunnel. What should we put inside first? Let's see, how about, let's start with some leaves. Maybe we'll start with one leaf. Got a green one here. Plop. Let's try one and we'll see what happens. Okay. We'll count to three and we can say whoosh to make the wind start. Here we go. One, two, three, whoosh. Look at it go. Do you see the leaf? Oh, it's getting higher. Going round and round and round. You can see it blowing in the wind. Eleanor, do you see the green leaf? It must be getting dizzy. How about we try some more leaves? One is good, but let's try, let's try five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens with five leaves in here. Okay, let's count to three and say whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Whoa. Look at all the leaves blowing in the wind. Jacob says it makes him think of when he sees the leaves going in a cyclone. That means going around and around and around in the fall. Oof, they must be getting really dizzy. What do you think will happen if we put all the leaves in? Let's try it. Got it. a bunch more. Let's just plop them all in. There you go. Plop. It'll be like a really windy fall day. Let's count to three. Are you ready, Tegan? We'll say whoosh. One, two, three. Whoosh. Look at them go. Whoa. They're going really high now. Round and round and round. Edison says it's like a tornado spinning really fast. Wow. Alice thinks it looks funny. It certainly is interesting. Beautiful. Wow. Could watch it all day. Should we try something else? We got a lot of different things to try here. Okay, we'll put the leaves away. I'm just gonna dump it back out like this. Ta-da! Easy cleanup. Let's see, what else should we try? How about some of these foam shapes? We can put a couple of these things in here. Then we'll try all of them. Ooh. What do you think's gonna happen, everybody? Let's see if I can make them fly around. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh! Whoa. Let's see if we can make them move. Come on, wind! Wow! Look at that. It's like they activated. They're spinning round and round and round. Can you spin like the foam shapes? Let's spin. Spin, spin, spin. Whee! Woo! Wow. I'm getting very dizzy. Ugh. <laughs> Let's put some more foam shapes in here. Let's try them all. Okay, turn the wind off for a second. Put them all in. This is a lot. A lot of shapes. There we go. I wonder if they'll still blow. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoosh! Wow! It is, it's like a cyclone of colors. Can you see all the colors? There's blue and purple and yellow. They go so fast. Allie says they're spinning like crazy. They really are. Wow. Eleanor says, let's try the marbles. Okay, good idea. Now the marbles might be interesting. Booma thinks that they might be too heavy. 
I think they might be two. Let's see what happens. Got all our shapes. Okay, I'm gonna gently put some marbles in. So the marbles are really hard. <laughs> gently put them in there. A couple more. What do you think will happen? Do you think they'll fly up and around? I hope so. We'll see. Should we count to three? One, two, three. Whoosh! Hmm. Oh. Nothing's happening. I think you're right, Booma. And Calvin says the marble will be too heavy. Yeah, they're not even moving around. Let's try taking some out and see what happens. So the wind will only lift up things that are light. The marbles might be too heavy for the wind. Let's try a couple less marbles. One, two, three, whoosh! Oh, they're moving a bit. Oh, look, they're going around in a circle. They're not flying up, but they're moving around. That's pretty neat. They won't fly up high, but the wind can still make them move even though they're heavy. Let's try something a little bit lighter and see if the wind will lift up something lighter. What would be a little bit lighter than the marbles? Pour these back in. Maybe these styrofoam balls? They're lighter. Let's try putting some things in here, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten styrofoam balls. We'll see what happens, everybody. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh! Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! They're spinning round and round and round so fast! Amazing! Eleanor is glad that the wind's not heavy enough to blow us away. Can you imagine being in here? That'd be so windy. Incredible. Those look really cool. Let's put all the rest in, just see what happens. Here we go. Look at them fly. Abdurraf says it's too fast. Oh, Edison's asking if we open the lid. Will they fly out? I don't know. Should we try? Can open up the lid, see what happens? Okay, Edison, here we go. Open it up. Ah! Oh no, they're all coming out! It's like popcorn! <laughs> Uh-oh. I can see them spinning around and around and around. Some of them flew out! Okay, let's keep them all in. That was fun. Wow, what a good idea. It isn't taking the top off. It's like popcorn popping all over. Oh, one styrofoam ball got over here. Come on out. Some of our friends are asking for the confetti. Let's try all the confetti. All our paper here. The paper's really light. So I think that's gonna fly around a lot. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, whoosh! Let's see. Wow! This is really colorful. <laughs> I think we need to give it a little shake, get it all around there. Okay, whoosh! Wow! Some are flying, but some are staying stuck down there. Let's see. Oh, there they go. I'll give them a little shake. Very colorful. Fatima says it would be like a 
Confetti cannon. Very cool. All right, what else should we try? We got a couple more things. What haven't we tried yet? Maybe the ribbons? I wonder if the ribbons will fly up in the wind. They're pretty light. So probably. Let's put our ribbons in. We got a blue one, a green one, a pink one, a green one, a blue one, a green one. Penelope's asking for the ribbons. Here we go. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh! Fly! They're flying! Round and round and round. <laughs> some are staying down at the bottom. But some are getting really high. Wow, look at that! They're swirling around. Can you swirl like the ribbons? Swirl, 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 swirl. Ooh. Pretty. Oh, wow. Big circles. They look really neat. And Elvie says it's like flying worms. Oh, look, one just flew right out. Oh, it fell back in. <laughs> Raylan likes the ribbons too. Put that back in. Now what about the ping pong ball? Did we try this one? No. We put the ping pong ball in? Bloop. We'll give it a whirl. One, two, three. Whoosh! <laughs> round and round and round it goes. Should we try taking the lid off with the ping pong ball? Maybe it'll fly up higher. Let's try. Nope, nothing happened. We're trying out different things. Round and round and round and round. So I guess the ping pong is too heavy to fly up to. What about the pom poms? Okay, this will be our last one. We'll put some pom poms in. I hope the pom-poms will fly up. Let's try. Bloop, 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 bloop. Avery's shaking her head to fall. Ooh. All right, let's try these pom-poms. Ready, everyone? Let's count together. One, two, three, whoosh. Go, pom-poms, go. Whoa. You see that? There's there's a little one that goes up every oh well, there it is. <laughs> Will it come back up? Come on. You can do it. Little ball. Sitting round and round and round. Let's put some more in. Keisha says, come on. Come on, come on. Let's put them all in. Okay. Last time, everybody, count with me. One, two, three. Whoosh! Look at them go! Oh, did you see that? Oh, there's a little, little pom pom that flies up every now and then. Well, the smaller ones are lighter, so maybe they, they can get higher up in the wind tunnel. One's trying to get away. Look at it go. What if we took the lid off with this one? Whoa, they're getting up higher. Oh, they're spilling out. <laughs> One fell out, go back in. Whee! So fun. Uh-oh, they're even flying out like popcorn. Let's keep the wind in the wind tunnel. One, two, three. Whoosh. Whoa, that was really fun. It's a windy day inside the wind tunnel. All these different things we got to try. Thanks for playing with me, everybody. It was so colorful, Keisha and Ellie says. Oh, you know, after I took the, the lid off, it got all this fluff in the air. Whew, the wind is blowing all over the place. I think I feel some wind now. Whoosh, whoa, no, it's so windy in here. That was a really 
really big gust of wind. I was blowing all over the place. Did you feel that gust of wind? Yeah? Did you feel it blowing you around, Misha? It was blowing me all over the place. This way and that way and forwards and backwards and up and down and up and down. Whew. And that sounds like a song we know, doesn't it? This way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Let's go on a trip over the deep blue sea, everybody. You can let me know what kind of weather is happening where you are. Maybe it's a windy day. We've had some windy days here in Toronto lately. Let me know what the weather's like where you are and we'll climb aboard a pirate ship and we'll blow all around. Are you ready? Okay, Vita and Violet are spinning. Alice and Michael think it's pretty silly. Let's try it together. Twas a windy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. It's windy. Kiro says it's rainy in New York today. Twas a rainy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. It's windy and sunny though in Wisconsin today. Was a sunny day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and my captain said to me, We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Ivy says it's raining in Ottawa. Lots of rain here too. Keisha says it's a bit windy of a night in India. Windy there too. Evie and Clarkie say it's very cloudy in South Texas today. Twas a cloudy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Sunshine says it's super windy in Oregon and maybe will rain later. What? In Vermont it snowed last night? Uh-oh. Twas a snowy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Sanchez says it's a hot day in Mumbai. Whew. Twas a hot day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Whoa, it's sunny in a lot of places where our friends are today. That's nice. Clement says Hong Kong's pretty windy. Let's get windy again. Twas a windy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. What if the wind blew faster? Could we go faster? We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Faster? Oh, the wind's getting really fast. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Oh no, the wind's so fast now. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. One more time. 
We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, 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 up and down. Woo! Over the deep blue sea. It's a windy day. Woo! Nice job, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. I hear it's a beautiful day in Alabama, but very windy. It's windy in the classroom, too. Now, if it was windy outside, you might not want to be on a pirate ship. You'd be going up and down, up and down, up and down if it was so windy. I think I feel another breeze. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. No, no. Oh. 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 I almost blew away. It's so windy in the classroom. You ever see things blowing in the wind? We had our ribbons that were blowing in the wind. Maybe you've seen some leaves blowing in the wind, yeah, during the fall. I have some leaves here. Maybe we can make them blow away. Let's try, scatter all these leaves. And we can make some wind ourselves. We can use our mouths and a straw to blow and it makes some wind. Let's see if we can blow these leaves away. Let's scatter them all out here. We'll count to three and you can blow with me. Go and try to blow it away. One, two, three. There they go. Blew them all away. I think we're making a big mess in the classroom today, but it's okay. I'll clean it all up later. Let's do a little experiment, everybody. Um, oh, I'll push the button and we'll see something in the window. Whatever we see in the window, we'll try and get it to blow away. We'll see if we can have it blow in the wind. Okay, we'll push the button, see what'll be next. Here we go. What will it be? Oh, pom-poms. We got some pom-poms here. Do you think these will blow in the wind? Hmm, they're nice and fluffy. They're pretty light. I don't know, you'd need a strong wind to blow these away. What do you think, everybody? Think we can make these blow away? Let's count to three, we'll try. Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> Look at that! I'm gonna blow them right off the desk. <laughs> we made them blow in the wind. The pom-poms definitely blow. The wind's so powerful. Let's try something else. Push the button. What will it be? Abigail knew they would blow away. Oh, and Luke did too. A car? Hmm. Will a car blow away in the wind? You guys are all so smart. Eddie and Evie thought they would blow away. You're right. I wasn't sure. We got this car. Do you think the car will blow in the wind? It has round wheels. That might help it, but cars are pretty heavy. Let's give it a try. Put the car here. We'll have to blow. I'm gonna blow really hard. Abigail's blowing really hard. Okay, let's try on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. <clears throat> it won't blow in the wind. We can make it move with our hands though. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Too heavy to blow away in the wind. Tegan says, too heavy. Allie said, no way. Abdul Rauf says, yellow is his favorite color. It's a great color. I cannot get it to blow away. Well, let's try another one. That's this experiment. Some will blow away, some won't. Let's see. Some of our friends are trying to blow things away where they are. That's really fun. A crayon. Look at that. We got a crayon. And crayon's pretty heavy too, but it's round. So that might help it blow in the wind. What do you think will happen? You think it'll blow? blow away. 
Only one way to find out. Let's try, we'll count to three and blow all together. One, two, three. <gasps> Look at that. It's blowing. We're gonna try and blow one more time. Here we go. It blew right off the desk. It blew right away. The crayon blows right away. I think it definitely helps that it's round, that it could roll in the wind and help it roll away just like a big tumbleweed. Liam and Luke said, yeah, it'll blow away. Veda and Violet thought it would blow away too. And Martin, excellent. Well done, everybody. Let's try another one. So many things to experiment with. And blow in the wind. A spoon. Hmm. Will a spoon blow in the wind? I don't think I've ever seen a spoon blow in the wind before. But there's only one way to find out. Let's gotta try. What do you think? Harriet and Henry and Lewis are blowing at the TV to help. Thank you. Okay, let's blow all together. We'll see if we can make the spoon blow away. I wonder. Let's count to three. One, two, three. <gasps> It won't blow away, it's too heavy. This is really heavy. The spoon won't blow away in the wind, everybody. No matter how hard we blow. We tried though. So the spoon doesn't blow away, far too heavy. Nope, everyone's saying, Clement's trying to blow really hard, but the spoon still won't blow away. Let's try another one, everybody. What will it be? Kieran didn't think the spoon will blow away. Oh, but what about this? We got some glittery confetti. Do you think this is gonna blow away, everybody? I have an idea that it might. Look at this. This is really light. So light and really colorful. I think this might make a mess, <laughs> but let's try. Count to three. Blow really hard. Will it blow away? One, two, three. <gasps> it blew all away. Come on, little guy. This one's stuck. The confetti blew all the way, super messy. Huffing and puffing. Evie liked how they sparkled. They blew all over. We definitely have a mess in the classroom. That's okay, we'll clean it up later. Nice job, everybody. Joshua said it was gonna make a big mess. Sometimes experiments do make a big mess, like Edison says. Then we do a good job cleaning up later. Okay, let's try another one, everyone. We'll push the button, see what comes up next for our Experiment. Yay! Huh. A sailboat. Now, a sailboat is actually made for the wind. See the big sail? The wind blows and the sail catches it and it pushes the sailboat. But the sailboat is meant to go on the water. Have you ever seen sailboats on the water? Do we have any water around here? Mm. Well, I could go get some water and we could try the sailboat. Um, while I'm getting the water, why don't you all watch a little video about 10 little sailboats? And you can practice your counting too, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. I'll try and find some water for our sailboat and you can hang out and watch 10 little sailboats. I'll see you soon. Little, two, little, three, little sailboats, four, little, five, little, six, little sailboats, seven, little, eight, little, nine, little sailboats, ten, little sailboats. Great job, 
guys. Now, let's count them backwards. Yo, ho, ho. Ten little, nine little, eight little sailboats. Seven little, six little, five little sailboats. Four little, three little, two little sailboats. One little sailboat. One sailboat. cloud I found. Look, we got lots of water now for our sailboat. Penelope says that the sailboat works in the bath. Maybe it will work in our big tub of water here. Are you ready to try and make our sailboat blow? We got a huff and puff. On the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> Look at it go. It's going this way, that way. We all around. Ooh, we can make the sailboat blow on the water. Woohoo! Hey, let's make lots of wind and we can have a sailboat race. Yeah, I got some other sailboats here. A blue one and a green one. And we'll make lots of wind with not one, not two, but three straws. <laughs> lots of wind will blow. And we'll see which sailboat will make it across the tub of water first. And you can cheer for the sailboats. You can go, woohoo, go blue, go red, go yellow, or go green. <laughs> Are you ready, everybody? Let's get the race started. Uh-oh. Come on, cooperate, sailboats. They don't want to stay at the start line. They all want to get started. Okay, let's say on your marks, get set, go. Ready? On your marks, get set, go! Go, sailboats! Almost there! They made it! Hooray! All the sailboats got across the water. Hooray! Well done with all that wind. Triple win for our sailboats. Nice job, sailboats. Great job cheering, everybody. Liam was cheering for the blue. Sierra was cheering for the red. And so was Martin. Nice job. Molly and Lizzie were cheering for the green. They all did a great job blowing in the wind. Wind can be so powerful, blowing sailboats across the water. You can even use the power of wind to make energy and electricity. It's true. At wind farms, they have really big windmills called wind turbines. And at the very top, they have blades that go round and round just like our fan. And the faster they go, it makes energy and electricity that we could use in our house to turn our lights on or to make our TV play or it gives us heat when it's cold outside or air conditioning when it's really hot outside or it gives, it gives us heat when it's cold outside and air conditioning when it's hot. To turn on our fan, we need to use 
electricity. So let's take a trip to a wind farm, everybody, and see how they make electricity with the power of the wind. It's field trip time. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Borelex. Borelex develops and builds and operates renewable power facilities. That means that they make electricity out of things like the wind. Isn't that amazing? We need electricity to turn our lights on or make our TVs play, and they can make it out of the wind. It's incredible. I wonder how it works though. Hmm. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi, everyone at home. I'm Brian, and I'm an engineer at Borelex, and I can tell you all about it. That's great. Okay, Brian, so how do you turn the wind into electricity? Well, first, you need to build a big wind turbine like this building block set here. Oh, that's made out of building blocks? Yeah, yeah, isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah. So first, you have to build a big concrete foundation, like similar to the one in your home, and then you install all the tower sections. And once the tower is installed, you install the nacelle where the power generator and all the gears are located. And then finally, you use a big crane to lift the blades in place and you have a wind turbine ready to make power from the wind. Wow, so the wind blows and it turns those big blades? That's right, that's right. So once the wind blows, the blades start spinning and it makes power for your homes. That's amazing. Would you like to go see our wind turbines and check it out for yourself? Yeah, we'd love to. All right, let's go. All right, let's go see. Well, Kitty, welcome to the Niagara Region Wind Farm. Wow, there's a lot of wind turbines around here. Yeah, there's 77 in this project. Wow, they're so tall. How tall is a wind turbine? Well, these wind turbines are the tallest in North America, so they're over 174 meters tall. That sounds really tall. Yeah, so if you would take 55 elephants and stack them on each other's backs, that's how tall these wind turbines are. Can you imagine 55 elephants on top of each other? That would be a sight to see for yeah. sure. Yeah, well, this is a sight to see. It's so big. And I can see um, it's, it's moving up there. So does that mean that it's making electricity right now? That's right. So when the wind blows and the turbine catches the wind, the blades spin and generate the power that is then delivered to your homes. And how much power is one turbine making? So each wind turbine over the course of the year creates enough power for about a thousand homes. A thousand? That's, that's quite a bit. That makes quite a lot of energy. It does. It does for sure. Yeah. So but how does the energy that the wind turbine is making here. How does that get to our house and so that we could use it as electricity? Well, Katie, just as you like you use cords at home to plug in your devices, mm -hmm. we use cables called power lines to take the power generated from the wind turbine to your homes. These lines can go either underground or above ground on poles. Oh, so those power lines that we see along the highways and streets and stuff, those are carrying electricity to our house? That's right. So kids, next time you're in the car with mom and dad, have a look out the window and see if you can see some power lines. Yeah, I've seen those. That's really neat. How fast is it moving? So the wind turbine at full power does a complete turn about 14 to 15 times a minute. Now that doesn't sound very fast, but because the blades are so long, the tip is moving almost twice as fast as a cheetah can run. A cheetah? A cheetah is the fastest land mammal, and it's going twice as fast as a cheetah? It is. That's really fast. Wow. Does it ever go too fast if it gets too windy? Well, so if there's a very big storm with very high winds, the turbine has an automatic system that will shut itself down. It basically turns the blades out of the wind, and the wind turbine slows down by itself. Wow, that's a, quite a sophisticated piece of machinery. It's very sophisticated and very complicated. <laughs> Now, does anyone ever go all the way up to the top? So our workers that do the maintenance on the wind turbines climb to the top, they use a ladder or they take an elevator. There's an elevator in there? There's a very small elevator. Wow. I guess you can't be afraid of heights if you're gonna go up there and work on the wind turbine. Definitely not. <laughs> so can you tell us why it's important to use a renewable energy source like wind to make our electricity? Why would we wanna do that? So wind power is a renewable energy source. Wind will always be around. So when you generate electricity from the wind, you're not burning dirty fuels, which creates air pollution or water pollution, which results in a much cleaner environment and cleaner air for us to breathe. Wow. 
Yeah, this air does smell really clean. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice today. Well, thank you so much for showing us the wind farm and for teaching us about renewable wind energy. And a big thank you to Borelex for making electricity from things like the wind so that we could have a cleaner planet and clean air. That's really nice. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure to have you here today. Bye, everybody. Bye. Welcome back to the classroom, everybody. Wasn't that so neat? A big thank you to Brian and Borlax for showing us the power of wind energy and how it all works. It was really amazing to see those wind turbines so close up. A lot of our friends thought it was really interesting too. Penelope says, it's a giant fan. It really is. It's this ginormous fan. And it's so high because that's where all the strong wind is and it can get really windy up there. Jacob has can see some by his house in Pennsylvania too. It was a really cool field trip. I'm glad you liked it, everybody. We got to see how the wind can make electricity, which is awesome. And I can show you how the wind can make a cool craft like this. Check it out. I made this with a little bit of paint and a straw and of course, some wind. We can make our own little monster creations. I'll show you how we can make it, everybody. To start, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper. Lots of art starts out that way. And we've got some paint here. So I got some great bright colors. And what I did was I mixed it with some water. So it made it a little bit thinner than regular paint. And that's gonna make it easier to blow with our straw. So to start, Maybe we'll take some orange. Let's make an orange one. I got a little spoon. I'm gonna drop it on the paper. And then we get ready to make some wind with our straw. We'll blow it all around and see what we come up with. You never know, it'll be a little different. Here we go. Look at that. Woo, uh-oh, I blew some off the edge. <laughs> you never know where it's gonna go. It'll always be a little different. You can turn your paper and blow the other way. looks cool. Kind of looks like maybe a fish with a big nose. Should we try a different color? What other color should we try? Oh, Fahid likes bl or the green stuff. Let's try the green one. Mix it up a bit. And when you try this at home, you'll probably have completely different shape. It'll always be a little bit different. Ready? Let's make a green monster. Green one's big. Let's turn it around, blow the other way. Woo, just makes a big blob. Cool, it'd be like the big blobby monster. Like our super simple monster. You know, the big green super simple monster? Kind of looks like him. You could use your imagination a bit. Clarky's asking for the blue. Let's make a blue monster. Mix it up. You know I like blue too. I'm gonna put some blobs of paint like this. And try and blow them together and see if that makes it a little bit different. You could experiment with this too. Here we go. Made something really long. Let's blow the other way. <laughs> it 
And the harder you blow in one spot, it'll make that paint go further. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Neat. All right, we got one more big spot. How about purple? Penelope asked for purple and Keisha. Here we go. And we can use our imagination to make our monsters. Let's plop down some paint. Here we go. I'm gonna try this crazy straw. We got, I got this different kinds of straws. See how this goes. A purple crazy straw for the purple paint. Whew, you know what? That's too hard. <laughs> it has to take a long time for all the wind to get through the straw. How about we try this purple one? Different straws will be different. Maybe you'll have, you'll have a smaller um, wind blowing, so you'll make the smaller little strands. Get fancy. This is a bigger straw. Turn it around. And maybe if I try the smaller straw up here. Yeah, it makes those smaller little paint blobs. Whew. It gets to be hard work to keep blowing through a straw. Look at that. That could almost be like a face and two legs. Clement says the purple looks like a bear. Abdur Rauf says the paint gets all wiggly when you blow through a straw. Sure does. So once you've made your paint monsters, your different shapes, and they're gonna be all sorts of different shapes. We want them to dry. So we'll put this aside. We'll let it dry for a bit. Let's see. Got a little bit of a mess with some of the paint. Let's see if we can clean this up a bit. There we go. And I have some that I made earlier that are already dry, so they're all ready to decorate. Look at these guys. Got some purple and orange and green. We can decorate it with, I got some googly eyes. Those are always fun. Some markers and some construction paper to make a mouth. And then this is the really fun part. You can get really creative with what your monsters are gonna look like. So let's start with the green one. I think it kind of looks like a big green ghost. Maybe we could put an eye there. <laughs> and he has two arms, maybe a tail. Yeah. Comes up with all sorts of monster creation. Eva is asking, what happens if the paint mixes? Well, when two different colors of paint mixes together, sometimes it makes a different color. If we mix too many together, it becomes like a messy brown. But if you wanted to add two different colors and try and mix those together to make a different kind of monster, I think that would look really neat. We have one eyeball on this monster. Veda and Violet kind of think it looks like a frog. It kind of does. So then you can use a black piece of construction paper to make a mouth. You can cut it out any shape you like. I'm sort of making a smile here. And it's kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. And how about some teeth? It's not a monster without some teeth. One. Two. Two cute little teeth. And we can glue it down. There we go. One teeth one tooth. Oh, he's gonna look so good. Let me know if you have ideas for the other monsters. We're gonna decorate those too. Yay! 
Maybe we could give him some fingers on his on his hand here. Look! Ooh, spooky monster. Let's do the orange one. Edison thinks it'd be funny to do a big eye and a little eye. I think that's a great idea. How about we use a big eye? How about two little eyes? <laughs> be a three-eyed monster. And what kind of mouth should this guy have? Maybe a big circle? We could look really surprised. He goes, ooh. You got our little mouth here? <laughs> he looks funny. We can give him a little tongue. I don't know if this will show up. Not really. I like this monster. He looks spooky. We can give him some fingers too, maybe. This is his hand. Maybe he has some feet. He looks great, that's a great idea. One big eye and one little eye. What about our purple monster? Let's add two eyes on our purple monster. We'll glue them down. Eleanor says a big nose. That's a good idea. Let's add a big nose with our marker. I'm gonna try using a darker color, maybe. Boop. Big nose for our purple monster. We can give him a little smile too. Maybe his smile's over here. <laughs> he looks funny. Oh, Keisha's saying some horns for our orange monster. That'd be a neat idea. You can cut out some horns too. You can use the construction paper to come up with all kinds of different monster decorations. One. Two. You can name your monsters too. Give them all sorts of funky names. I love it. I love our fun monsters here. Once all your monsters are decorated, you can try cutting them out. You might need to get a grown-up to help you with that part because they can be all sorts of interesting shapes. And then put them on a big sheet of paper like we have here. And you have like a monster party. We gotta put the cat back on our glue stick, of course. Always very important. And look, here we have a mix of different colors, like some of our friends were suggesting. Some big eyes and little eyes. They look really funky, some horns. You can make them yourself at home. We have a post on our website and a link in the description below on taking you through all the step-by-steps on how to make your very own monsters by blowing some wind on some paint. I'd love to see the creations that you come up with. I'm sure they'll be really interesting. And if you have a photo that you'd like to send to us, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can send them on Instagram. I'm at Super Simple Katie. just send them uh, through direct messages and I'll get them there. Or on Facebook, on the Katie's Classroom Facebook page, you can send them that way. Or on our website, supersimple.com, on the contact page, there's a place where you can upload your photos and your artwork. We always love to see what you're up to at home. So let's take a look at some of the photos you sent in this past week, everybody. Hello, Araya. This is Araya in Canada. And look, she's at this big dinosaur with her grandma. We had a whole episode on dinosaurs. Amazing. Our friends Caleb, Yur Yurla, Lucy, and Layla from the USA, they made our duck craft from our duck episode. And those ducks look amazing. You did such a great job. Our friend Protoyi from Bangladesh made our snowman craft from our snow episode. You did a great job. I love the scarf and the hat. Here's our Uriah again. Uriah again from Canada. And she made our bird feeder. That was a video that just came out on Super Simple Play. And it's a part of our episode all about pets. And Uriah, you're 
your um sorry your bird feeder looks beautiful i forgot the word bird feeder for a moment i hope you've been getting lots of birds and she has our friend toby hanging out there too our friend sabrina from the usa after our show all about opposites she found some opposites on her breakfast table look one jar is full and one jar is empty. Full and empty are opposites. Great job, Sabrina. Our friends Fatima and Abdullah made an amazing family tree. Look at that family tree. Their mom said it took them all day. And right now they're living in the US, but their house and Fatima was born in Algeria. So they like to say that they're from both places and their family, look, so many family members. Incredible, you guys did a great job. And Rhea made a beautiful family tree too. I love seeing all these beautiful family trees you all made. Nice job, Rhea, it looks great. And of course, we have some more family photos. You all sent in some great family photos last week for our family show. This is the Oswald family. Look at everybody, so nice to see you. And Ashley's family. We got big families and little families. This is Ashley's beautiful family. Our friends Nolan and Kina from the USA were watching our family show. Nolan had his little sister Kina and his doll there, which is called Superstar Jack Jack, I think, which is an awesome name for a baby doll. Here's our friend Arian from Iran. And look, Arian's watching our old live show. That was the very beginning before we were in the classroom. All those episodes are on the Super Simple Learning Channel. Lots of fun and activities and music over there. Thanks so much for sending in your photos, everybody. If you have a photo to send, send it to us and maybe you'll see it on the show next week in the classroom. We always love seeing what you're up to at home and seeing those photos, they just make me so happy. You know, it's like a big warm breeze that blows in and lifts me up and takes me higher and higher like up in the clouds till I'm soaring just like a bird flying so happy it's so nice <laughs> let's pretend to be a bird everybody we can fly up high in the sky all together yeah I'll read from my book of pretending we can close our eyes and use our imagination when we close our eyes it helps us use our imagination and see the pictures in our mind. Let's try it. Close your eyes and no peeking. Close your eyes, Ella. No peeking, Sanchet. Ready? Okay. Now let's pretend. You are a bird. You are covered in feathers and have two strong wings. You live in a nest on a branch high up in a tree. You look down. The forest floor is way below you. You see a squirrel playing on the ground. <laughs> he looks so small. You look up above you. The sky is blue with big fluffy clouds that are perfectly white. You feel a bit of wind across your feathers and you want to fly. You open up your wings and flap, flap, flap. And you lift up out of the nest and into the sky. You're flying. You flap your wings to get higher and higher. The ground is very far away now. Suddenly, you feel the wind. You stop flapping and the wind lifts you up underneath your wings and takes you higher and higher up into the clouds. You soar through the sky and let the wind take you this way and that way, Whee! The wind starts to fade and you flap your wings again, heading back to your nest. Flap, flap, flap. It's wonderful to fly in the wind. Whee! <laughs> oh, 
open your eyes. Wow. I was up so high, everybody, flying through the clouds. Were you flying too? It's amazing to pretend to be a bird. Keisha says, tweet, 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 tweet. And Georgia loves listening to the stories. Oh, Keisha, did you peek? And Edison peeked? <laughs> sometimes it's hard not to peek. But if we close our eyes, then we can sometimes really see those pictures in our imagination, which is really special. Can you imagine being a bird and flying through the wind? Whoosh! I feel some wind coming now! Uh oh! Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh no! It's so windy! Uh oh! My guitar! It's flying away! No! Come back! Whew! Whew! That was close. My guitar almost blew away! This wind is really strong! Good thing I caught it though. Then we wouldn't be able to sing our goodbye song. But it's time to sing our goodbye song, everybody. I hope you had fun. Joshua said it was fun. Evie and Clarkie were flying around like birds. I had a great time playing in the wind with you today. Let's wave our hands and sing a big goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Isaiah and Evie and Clarky and Ivy and Joshua. Goodbye to Ella and Henry. Goodbye to Martin. Goodbye to Soshiro. Goodbye to Keisha. Goodbye to Veda and Violet. Twins! Goodbye, Veda and Violet. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, Georgia and Carter from Vancouver. Goodbye to Theo and Mommy in Denmark. Goodbye to Molly and Lizzie and our friend Rona and Ethan in Indonesia. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Lachlan and Guinevere in Illinois. Goodbye to Colson and Raina. Goodbye to Lewis and Penelope. Goodbye. Goodbye to Logan Leem. Goodbye to Emma Gabriel. Goodbye to Jocelyn and Oa. Owen, goodbye to Santiago and Sofia from Argentina. Goodbye to Alexis and Ariana and baby Joseph. Goodbye to Juliana and Melody from California. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Clara and Tommy from Borden, Ontario. Goodbye to Calvin, Ruth, and Oliver from Orlando. I had fun learning with you too. Goodbye to Colton and Finley from Kentucky. Goodbye to Maximiliano and Mila. Goodbye to Maria Angel from Colombia and Clement from Hong Kong. Goodbye to Eva and Alice from Montreal. Goodbye to Liam and Luke and Alice and Michael in Kentucky. Goodbye to Reem in Newark and Fleur from the UK. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Arya and Silas from Cornwall. Goodbye to David and Liliana in Texas. Goodbye to Sanchez and Nathaniel in New York. Goodbye to Katerina in Brazil and Desi by Desi. Goodbye to Julia in Amsterdam. Goodbye to, ooh. Rona says that she had, there was a baby born, baby Adam, three days ago. Happy birthday, Adam. Brand new baby. Goodbye to Parker in Milton, Ontario. We'll see you all next week, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody by Jackson and Daddy in Rochester, New York, and Stormy in Portland. We'll see you soon, everyone. I had a great time. Uh oh, the wind's back. Oh no.